This is your CBS News Baltimore afternoon update for Friday, September 22nd. I'm Sina Gebra Ab. The Red Cross of the National Capital and Greater Chesapeake Region is getting ready to respond to the remnants of Hurricane Ophelia potentially hitting our area this weekend. Experts with the organization are urging everyone to prepare for the weekend weather and make emergency kits if you don't have any currently. The Red Cross says it's responded to even more flood related emergencies in the region in recent years. According to NOAA, there were more than $5 billion weather related disasters on average every year between 2018 and 2022. That's up 90% from between 2008 and 2012. But despite the forecast, final preparations are underway for Artscape in Baltimore. The Free Arts Festival is expected to open tonight after a three-year hiatus. WJZ is the proud media sponsor of Artscape. Organizers say they are closely monitoring this storm and will provide updates when necessary. Acting Police Commissioner Richard Worley is one step closer to officially becoming Baltimore's police chief. Last night, a city council committee unanimously voted to confirm him. Mayor Brandon Scott picked him to replace former police commissioner Michael Harrison after he resigned in June. Worley has already faced quite a few challenges since then, including the fallout from the Brooklyn Day mass shooting and the complaints that the community wasn't involved in his nomination. But he hopes to prove his doubters wrong. Why can't we pick our own commissioner? Worley does not deserve to serve the citizens of Baltimore City. A lot of the citizens who said didn't agree um, don't know me. Um, the public officials know how I am. They know that I'm in the community and know that community policing is my strong point. The committee also approved the mayor's pick for the next city fire chief, James Wallace. The entire city council still needs to hold a full vote on both of these confirmations, and that is scheduled for October 2nd. And that's your afternoon update for CBS News Baltimore. I'm Sina Gebra Ab.